Hi and welcome to this workflow tutorial. This image has a few features in it uh, which make it difficult to mask. The first one is that it's got some hair in it. Uh, the second one is that some of the colors are very similar and run into each other such as the door frame and the top of the lady's head. It's also got various um, colors in the background that need masking out. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, mask out the background using the delete local brush. At this point I've got the edge overlay on. I was just touching up between the shoulder and her head and now the little gap between his chest and his arm and below the arm. So that's the first pass of the delete mask. Now um, you will see that there are various um, bits of the delete mask that just need touching up. The first thing I do is going to clean the existing mask so I just take the clean tool and press clean and that will get rid of all the little bits inside the delete mask. Now I want to go and visit the top of her head um, and there's a problem with them on the top of his head um, and on his shoulder. So here you can see where the mask is just slightly run. So I use an exact brush here just to mask out um, that white post coming down. and the top of a rays mask from the top of his head there we go and add mask again with a white post now to erase mask from the top of her head and round the side Okay, that's our first cutout. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I think the top of her head needs some work and then possibly some work on his ear. So what we'll do is we'll create a patch around the top of her head and we will start to try and pull out some of those fine hairs there using the blend mask. Remember, in a patch, we can also use different blending types. And for the moment, the edge blending is probably the best um, blending that we have available to um, pull that hair out. So I'm just finding those hairs um, and masking them with blend mask. Okay, he's just trying to create a cutout now. Okay, we've got a lot of those hairs, but still some of that background needs to be sorted out. So we're going to switch on edge blending, and we are going to just uh, increase the amount of blend mask, um, eating into some of that keep mask. Try again. Okay, that's much better. There's just a couple of stray hairs still to be dealt with. There we go. You'll see there that also that the auto blend uh, width is on thin so that we don't have too much leakage of blend mask into the keep mask. So that's a lot better. Okay, now the only piece left to do is the is the left hand side of his head where his ear the mask isn't quite right on his ear, so I think what we'll do is go and get some keep uh, mask and paint over that area. This time the auto blend width is on medium, so we get a better cutout. Okay, that's pretty good. That's the cutout complete. 
Thanks for watching. We will undertake um, several more workflow tutorials, so make sure you keep coming back and having a look for them. And if you have any suggestions, please let us know. Um, and don't forget to check out uh, the website for um, updates of Fluid Mask because we will be updating um, lots of features as we go along. Um, and once again, thanks for your attention. Bye.